I think the youth are a very vulnerable population in this country. I think they live in a, um, in a culture of stress. Um, the pressure is really large. Um, and in terms of positive psychology, the paradigm I work in, I think it's important that we look at the dichotomy which stress places us in that um, it does often provide crisis and trauma, but it can also be an opportunity for growth. Um, and I think it's important that we empower the youth uh, in terms of being able to look inside and intrinsically source their, their strengths and their potential, which they can use to move forward. I think it's a way of buffering them against stress. I work specifically with um, sexually abused women um, and we've designed an intervention which moves women from um, not just surviving trauma but actually being able to thrive. So a transformational step that they take in terms of just processing and living with the trauma and actually being able to say, but I've grown from this trauma. And looking back, um, these are the strengths that have emerged from coming from a, from a culture of crime. Um, so the first point is that we don't just look at weaknesses, but that we also look at strengths inherent to the youth. Secondly, that we try and envisage a support system from the community. I think trauma has often a ripple effect into the community. It's also intergenerational, so we need to look at how do we buffer the family, how do we buffer mothers in terms of their own traumas and their stresses, um, and how they are then empowered to protect their children. And then I think thirdly that we look at overall psychological well-being, um, that we try and enhance emotional well-being in the youth, that we look at their interpersonal competence, um, and that we also look at their mental wellness, um, and that um, as professionals, we empower people in the community to uh, take the message forward to, to the youth and actually intervene um, on a level where the youth are accessed uh, and empowered.